Hi guys, uh, welcome po sa aking uh, uh, YouTube channel, ang Ses Cruz Kiwi Pinoy of New Zealand. Today, ay, uh, ito ang first day na mamimit ko ang aking mga high school classmate after that so many years, after four decades. And today, we're gonna celebrate our 48 uh, high school class reunion of St. Columban College, uh, Butch 1975. Narito po kami sa aming uh, accommodation, this is a YRS Hotel Resort Hotel. At uh, dito po, first day ng meeting namin ng aking mga classmates. Please enjoy the videos. <laughs> Today is oh, February uh, 10th. Uh, 2023 at uh, kanina pa ako kami dito 6 o'clock ng madaling araw ah, nung maga galing po kami ng ago loan yun ng aking misis na si Cathy at uh, ngayon po Hello, ay kita-kita uh, kita na kami ng mga first batch na dumarating dito sa YRS Resort Hotel sa Lingen, Pangasinan, Philippines Please enjoy the video and uh, bear with us Marami po tayong videos na share sa inyo. Thank you po. Mga baon yung... Oh. Sumusumok kayo ng mga Kung baro lang kung maway, why not? Sa sakipin naman kita Sa nag-vlog mo Hi guys, good morning po At narito po kami sa Lingayan Beach Kasama ko po ang aking mga classmates Dito sa Lingayan Beach At meron po mga fishermen Na nakakuha po ng mga isda So Tignan po natin at uh, ano po ang mga nauli nila at uh, sana makapag-interview po tayo ng mga fishermen para makapanayam natin sila para magkaroon po tayo ng information. Okay, thank you guys. The fresh fish. Mm. Yan o, bagong dating na bangka. Oh. Si. Oh, sorry. Look at this. 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 Ayan, spada. Meron pa na sa truck? Ito yung nasa truck o Oh shoot! Anong isa niya? Wow! Ganyan din, spada rin Ayan, huli nila sa truck o Isang spada o Ayan, kapon ba yan? Isang truck o Isang bangka lang yan? Oo, tapos yan ba yung kapon o Ah Ayan so, isa ka sa mga fisherman dito? Hmm. Gano katagal na lang ginagawa ito? Ilang taon na rin, sir. Oh. Uh, may git na lang oras yun ang hilan? Dalong oras. May git. Sa isang ba? Hmm. Salamat, brother. 
This is all my uh, SUZ batch mate. 1975. 1975. Uh, high school. High school. And and you know the one that's talking is the one. Oh yeah, my beautiful one. <laughs> so please bear with us, and we're gonna have our uh, with more fun. Only in the Philippines. <laughs> it's all the others in the Philippines. <laughs> Hindi pa yan ang number namin. Mamaya mga 75. Mga ilan ba tayo? Mga 75? Oo. Oh, Hindi yung number natin mamaya. Mas dadami no. Itong salan, mm. 50 plus tayo. 50 plus. Tapos yung sa ibang tan na dating iba na. Tapos bukas. Doon na. Mas marami. Ayos.
Papapanood niya yan. Pakakalimutin ka. Masagutin mo ako ng oo, hindi ang sagot mo eh. Ang dami ko niligawa, puro hindi ang sagot niya sa akin. Puro hindi. O pero ngayon, sali ko ng asawa ko. Hi guys, nato po kami sa Rudy Jing. This is a seafood resort restaurant. This is Bin Malay Lingen. At ito po ay shouts po ng aming president na si Rolly Pugo. Please enjoy and wow, ang sasarap po ng mga seafoods dito.
Panya. Uh, so uh, that's good. Some people, you're already considering the negative uh, things that people can do to you. you know, they can paint you black if they want to. Uh, he's also protecting his reputation, sabi niya, which is good. Okay. He's so nice. Uh, actually, more than a year ago, when Anna was sick, uh, uh, she was already in his prayers. In all the masses that she's saying in Dalga, in Ireland, uh, where she, he is now retiring, uh, kasama siya, kasama si Anna sa kanyang prayers, at saka yung masses niya. And uh, he was really bent on visiting Anna when he goes here to the Philippines, but then, hindi niya umambot eh, nauna si Anna wala. So, he said mass also in Tagaytay for, my, for Anna, which is I'm very thankful. And, uh, well, no miss ko, no miss ko si Mama. Si Mama. Anyway, ang hirap. Ang hirap pala malagas ng mga asawa. Uh, I mean, we, we were together for 42 years, for almost 43. And for all those 43 years, eh, katabi mo siya lagi. Lahat ng bagay. Lahat. Pati pagkain. Lahat. And uh, suddenly, wala siya sa tabi mo. So, uh, mahirap, but a lot. Meron akong sinanyang support group. Puro lalaki din. Puro widowers. Puro budo. And uh, every now and then, they send me messages. And uh, it's okay to cry. It's okay uh, to grieve. It's okay to grieve. Uh, it's a gift actually to, to, to grieve. You know? it's, it's actually a gift to remember. Because grief is actually an evidence of your love. You don't grieve for someone if you don't love, don't you? You don't. But if you love that person so much, stays there. Sabi ni Father Raleigh, it will not leave you. I tell you, even when you're very old, it will still be with you. Which I believe so. Uh, imagine 43 years you spent life together in, in sickness and in pain. Next <laughs> I remember my vow. Uh, and uh, yeah, in death do us part. She will never be a part. You know, to remember her. Eh, kukwento na ako. Katakapos lang ang kanyang 40th day, last 29th, yeah. January 29th. And, uh, well, part of the program, well, not just a trivia program, it's actually a collection of pictures. I met her. Actually, we started with when she was in her elementary high school years. Until we got married, we met each other. Until our honeymoon, and so on and so forth. You know, as I was collecting all of those pictures, actually they're all in Google Google Photos. Yeah? All you have to do is select. From the time we were together, you see, you notice the smile. You notice the smile. That means she's happy. When we notice, the first time I noticed that she's sick, when we, went, when we were in Timberland, we went on a trek. Kasi mayroong ano dun eh, mayroong natural na waterfalls sa lugar. Uh, maraming hindi nakakalunod. At ayaw namin sabihin sa iba. Kasi baka maging commercialized eh. <coughs> we always go there for a trek. And suddenly, on our way back, on our way back, she fell. Nawala siya ng, nawala siya ng, ano, balance. I was so shocked. Sabi ko, pati ako nahila eh. Nadaos to sila ko eh. So what happened? So I, I, sabi ko, and then that's when I noticed, there's a small buckle here. There's a small lump. Uh, I, nung muna, akala ko, you know, a fatty tissue, a regular lump, di ba? I had a, I had a, we took a sample for biopsy and the report says uh, it's an evidence of metastatic activity. What does that mean? 
Okay. For everyone to, for everyone's information, my wife had cancer, breast cancer, in 2006. It was November 2006. From that time until 2000, late early 2000, late 2020, I remember as a pandemic. <coughs> Yung yeah, that was the discovery that tumala. But for all those years, almost 14 years, She's always smiling. But after that incident, alamin na yung result of St. Luke's. The smile was gone. It's not there anymore. I noticed it. It took me actually, it took me more than a day from morning until the wee hours of the morning. Kasi, nag-hook ako sa nakakita ko. You know, keep on scrolling, going back again, scrolling, and I noticed the smile was really gone after that discovery. You know, agad ko yung mga bata, alam mo, take note, guys, take note. When did we discover that this particular month, this particular year, you notice all the pictures after that. Nice smile right. So somehow she knew. Somehow she uh, she knew that you know time is running out. Uh, there was a specific day in the hospital when her when we were her brother, Ella's brother, and the uh, cardiologist were there, including myself. And she specifically sat and said, Doctor. What I want you to do is, I want, I, what I want to do is, I want to leave. Malafin yung statement na yun. He just doesn't want to exist in this world. He wants to leave. Meaning, he wants to go out, share, you know, share all of this to other people, and be and commune with all her friends, not her high school friends. No BF. Kung nakita ko yun, kasi imagine mo, she's been uh, in and out of the hospital. Para siya hindi, ano, maging preso in that bed. I don't know how the ladies feel, but as a husband, I mean, well, you know, but then I have the kids. I'll, I'll feel happy if you take care of the kids. That's, you know, don't have to tell me about it. It's a computer, it's a default. <laughs> okay. Whether I like it or not, the kids will be okay. I told you. I told you. They'll be okay. Especially, I have five, and then another one's coming up, and two of my children are in a hurry also. Well, of course, the biological clock is ticking, you know? But literally, if you do it, what's some more? Wala na eh, hindi na kayo katawin mo. Okay, so while they're still okay, sabi ko, well, understandable naman eh, mong mga anak natin, di ba? Sasabihin mo, oh, mag-anak na kayo, takot, takot mag-anak. You know why? Because of the fear of the unknown. Hindi niya alam kung mabubuhay nila kung mga bata lalakas sa mabunto. Okay? So what I did, I encouraged them. You have got nothing to worry about. Career can, can, can follow. Kasi ako din yun eh. Noong una, nag-isip ko, career. Ah, 
Bibig ng Pinto, bibigay ko ng effect. Hindi yung Pinto, yun yung effect. But meanwhile, the cell is spreading like crazy. So at the end of the day, pinamahal pati yung buto niya, saka niya, all the way up to the bone marrow. What is producing blood in our body? It's the bone marrow. Yung utak, yung bulalo. Okay, that's the one producing blood. If there is no pinabayogs ito, gumawa ng sapo, the result was 95% of the bone marrow was ready for formulas. Only 5% is functioning. What does that mean? I'm going on infusion, blood infusion. After three days, no one has to be replaced. It has to be replaced. And the replacement is not coming from your body anymore. It's coming from the infusion. Lahat mga anak ko nag-dumit eh. Dumit kami kasi kailangan kahit ito. Hindi mo nakikita ko ako ito sa plan. Okay? So, pati yung mga kapatid, si Anna, nag-help seek for donation. Ay, oh, si Anna. So, if there's no blood, we produce. And blood is actually bringing oxygen to the rest of the organ. Ayan ha, may natutunan na yun. This is anatomy. Okay? If there's no blood going to the liver, no blood, no oxygen going to the kidney. Oh my gosh! So, even if you fall, by the way, there are 14 doctors. I have my picture. There are 14 doctors. The big apat po. You know, all of them, what did I go? Come on. Okay. So, pero pag kinakausap mo sila, positive. Ang ganda na naman sinasabi. Pero ako, hindi naman ko pinangala kahapon. I read between the lines. I read. What I try to tell me, you know, if you read between the lines, you know it's a dead end. Diba? It's a dead end. So, that's when I, you know, told all my kids, guys, pwede ba? Nalas-dalasan niya yung bisita yung dito sa hospital. Kasi kami nalawa lang ito lagi. Tsaka yung caregiver. Kasi hindi ko na kaya. That's why I have a caregiver to relieve me. No? Hindi ko kaya tuloy-tuloy sa pinggo. Alamak, yang close saya dengan kejujuran. Saya baru baring. 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 Saya Pag naging gamitin na ako kay mama, gusto ko kunin yung KGB yung dalawa na yun. Because, mapipil mo yung care. Kaya nga, their specialty nila is palliative care. When there's no more care, that can be done, it's palliative. Making sure lang na wala siyang pain, making sure lang na nakagawin mo siya ng maayos, and so on and so forth. Kasi the function, bodily functions, are no longer there. Alam mo, ito pa pala sa natutunan ko. Ang isang tao, hindi na makalakad, goodbye na yun. Yung hindi na siyang katayo, para lang mag-review. Para lang hindi. Ano na yun? Counted na yun. Okay? You know what? What I do? From the bed? Kasi awang awa ako sa kanya. Close or even even more. You hindi ka makaihit. So ang sawa ka na to sa lampu. There are times hindi mo na makaihit ng mga tanging. 
Kailangan mo po na, it was designed, mauupo ba para umihi, hindi na kita. Manotice mo? O, so, I'm telling you this, kasi this is a first-hand information. I have uh, stopped playing golf for so many months. <coughs> I stopped attending meetings. And everyone's telling me, Oh, ikaw lang ayaw na nga lang namin. Eh, si Anna, gusto gusto kang palayasin. Eh. Excuse me. No, it's not that. I wanted to feel what she feels. Diba? Kasi nga, asawa mo yun. Diba? Hindi yung asawa mo nung maayos pa siya eh, nag-aaway kayo lang. <laughs> Ito hindi eh. Hindi mo kayo nag-aaway. So, uh, in the end, I felt relieved. The reason why I had that, because, because of the pain. Yung pain na, alam mo ba kung ano yung naging ano, nilalagay sa kanya ng pain relief? O sige, guess, ano mga pain relief na alam mo? Ha? O pain? Ano pa? Wala yan. Yung approach siya, yung mga ganun, diba? Celebrex, etc. Oo. Pentanin. Pentanin is the Mercedes Benz of pain killers. It started with five minutes na ano. Kasi may pain doctor siya, special dito yung pain doctor. Okay. It's called Oxinor. It's an Oxinor 5 milligrams. Pag ininom mo yun, para ka man dyan. Pero grogi ka. Ano lang yun? One week lang yun. After that, So, 10 milligrams. Mas mataas. Ako na, wala na naman. So, punta na ng pain patch. Patch. Pain patch. Stitter. Lalagay din na. Start with 50 milligrams. 100 milligrams. 150 milligrams. The pain is still there. So, imagine mo yun. Kasi, nasa bone. So, so, In addition to those painkillers, meron pa siyang emergency sa bilingual. Kung nalagay sa silong ng bilang para mabilis ang action. Okay? The reason ilagay mo yung patch kasi para may mobility ka. Para makadala pa naman. Kaya kung ano yan, kung matino, medyo maayos ang mga kakiram mo yan. Kapo kami kagat sa mga mall! Nakakata ka ng cheer! Excited kami lahat! Kasama kami lahat kasi for the first time, wala siyang pain. Imagine mo yung kain, yung haba lang ng food. Imagine mo yung meron kang ingrown. Yung ingrown, kaparagot pa na. At pinanggit yung nakukuyan. Hindi ka makatuloy dahil sa nagtitin. O imagine mo yung tumog. May tama. So that's how you... So I ended up buying a lot of those fentanyl pads. By the way, hindi man yan, mga addict. Yung morphine, hindi niya iniindak yun. Wala na yun. More of fentanyl. Anyway, because sabi ng doktor na, bro, kung may makita ang ganyang available in the market, kung may available sa market, may pili mo na. So what did I do? Nito ko yung mga malalaking welfare drugstores. Hindi mo ako yung ganda ng vibe. At whenever may receipt na lalabas, wala siyang hindi available. O boss, at meron. Pupunin ko na ka. Immediately. Okay? Okay. Kasi ayaw ko yung panahon na si Anna is in pain. Pero wala ko ba yung bigay? Imagine mo yung... Di ba? Eh, pati ako yun. Ramdam ko yun. So, as to ay... Fifty milligrams kada isang ayon. And I stopped. I must have one. Then I got the fifteen boxes. Nakalagay sa bolt. Kasi it's a it's a prohibited drug. Control niya ang ano. Hindi ka masabi sa mga kapatid. Okay. So when Anna died, when Anna passed away, may ano ganon kuya. So sabi ng isang 
dito, makaibigan ko din, dunik natin sa PGH. Kasi maraming talagang presyento doon. Ano na lang? Ano na lang? Kakapit na lang siguro, para lang mawala yung pain. But the pain is still there. Unbearable pain. So, dinuloy ko. Including all the insulin niya. Ang dami mga iba itong mga gamot. Boxes eh. Pinang may kwarta na lang. Susot yung Rudy Adley. Yung buo pa, mukhang pagkarit pa after the reunion. Mukhang talaga nilagay sa supot. Gusto daw nilang makita eh. Kaya nga ako yan, despesyal si Cesar. Gusto nilang makita. Yung buo pa yung kamisete eh. Anong year yan bro? Second pa. Second reunion. Kasi wala kasing date to. Pag yung bulo sinot mo, ang luma na yun. Eh ito, wala. Walang date. Kahit anong... Hindi ba 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 kasi na luma? Okay. Yung mga older batches, sa totoo lang, hirap na hirap, hirap siya ng bumuo ng ganito. 
Ya mukha natin no? Ha? Ang kikit natin no? <laughs> Yay, shout out. <laughs> Nani. 
Lori. <laughs> Kuha natin sa YouTube. Ba, lakas ng loob ni Pe ah. Kaya ng kaya yan. Kaya pa daw niya. Oh. Para pa hindi na kaya. Ha? Ay, tara. Kabisto ba kayo? Ganun o. Mga meron tayo lahat. Galing tayong bundok. Pero parang ita ngayon. Ito. Ay, sino ko mo? Ay, si John. Ay, thank you. Ay, Sama ga? Let's go. You sure? Yeah. Enak. Look. Very pretty. Look at it. Ya enggak eh. Ini sa beach na lang tayo bukas. Ini yung sa drone. Yung drone. Gamitin na. Yung mga yun, kala nila dyan sila dadaan. Mas hindi safe yan. Ha? Mas hindi safe yan. Ah, hindi safe yan. Oo, diretso ka dyan pagbaba mo. Dito at least. Ganda. Maganda siya ah. Yes. Look at that. Ayan. Yeah, next time. It's a 50 anniversary. It's a golden. Hindi na po ito yung ano. Yan ba yun? Press me there. Oh, sorry. Clouds. Saan kayang kon yan? Press me soon na yan. Mga radio. Let me take a picture of this. Lapo, ini ganda. Ganda itu tengahale, kita kita yang kau isan. Ya enggak. Oh kaya yang panen tamen tamen pengubahan sunset non. Oh, warung bagi nengar itu. Tapi ya, you reminded me so much of apa? Oh. Ah. Sablan. No. Oh, sablan is the same way. Kau tinggi masa bintana ganyan din. Hmm. Baka magde-develop si Rolo dito nung gan. <laughs> Pero pag-isip ako ni Joe ah, kasi sabi niya sisi nga new town home sa ano near the beach na go home. Hmm. Pero gusto mo bagi ba? Pwede rin naman sa pwede rin sa agawa rin. Hmm. Look at all mountains. Hmm. Good morning. We're going to have breakfast in the morning. Today is. Very eleven.
ba? Na, na lang na akong kakilala po sa inyo. Kaya po nila, kasama ko po sila nagpapakain sa mga bata sa iba ilinda. Bakit na lang lula lang? <laughs> no? Lula lang na no? Masaya po kayo. At talaga, no? ngayong araw na ito, ito po ang ibinigay sa inyo ng Diyos para magkita-kita po kayo. Ngayon po, special na araw. Na una, dahil po, piyesa po ngayon na Our Lady of Lords. Na, yung apparition po ni Mama Mary kay Saint Bernadette. Na, uh, 18 times sa loob ng Feb hanggang July. 18 times po siya na nagpakita kay Bernadette, isang dalagita. Pangalawa, dahil po na doon sa apparition site sa Lord's France, noon mayroon pong bukal doon. Lahat po, hindi naman lahat, pero halos lahat na pumupunta doon na merong sakit, nakakatanggap ng kagalingan. Kaya nga po, yun po ang pinakasikat po na pilgrim site na pinupuntahan ng mga tao, lalo't higit sa mga merong sakit. Kaya nga po, year 1992, si Pope John Paul II, na ngayon ay isang santo na, St. John Paul II, dinikrim po niya na yung araw na ito, na World uh, Day of the Sick. Ngayon po, ay araw po ng mga may sakit. Kaya nga po, huwag po natin kalimutan. Una, humingi po tayo ng kagalingan sa mga sakit po natin. Lahat po tayo merong sakit. Sakit physical, no? sakit sa emotional, no? yung iba sa atin, sakit sa... <laughs> Ngayon po na nalaman yun. No? <laughs> sabi ko, ah, sakit sa pag-iisip. Sana si Rami ko, mayroon pa pala, no? yung sakit sa pulsawa. No? Kaya iba talaga kayo. No? Binitigyan nyo ako ng bagong insight. No? Hindi lang sakit sa physical, emotional, mental. Ngayon na ako natutun ng bago, sakit sa pulsa. No? Tingin po natin no? na bigyan tayo ng Diyos. At ipagdasal din po natin yung bawat isa na may sakit, lalo higit yung mga kaklase po natin, yung kabas po natin na merong sakit. Let us bow our hands. Call to my our sins. Where are you? I, the Lord, oh, I, I, I asked I heard you in the garden, but I was afraid because I was naked. So I hid myself. Then he asked, Who told you that you are naked? You have eaten, and then from the tree of which I had forbidden you to eat. The man replied, The woman whom uh, you put here with me, she gave me fruit from the tree, and so I ate it. The Lord God then asked the woman, Why did you do such things? The woman answered, The serpent tricked me into it, so I ate it. Then the Lord God said to the serpent, Because you have done this, you shall be banned from all the animals and from all the wild creatures. In your belly you shall be crawled, and dirt shall you eat, and all the days of your life I will put enmity between you and the woman, and between your offspring and hers. He will strike at your head while you strike at his heel. To the woman he said, I will intensify the pangs of your child. Bearing in pain shall you bring forth children. Yet your herbs shall be for your husband, and he shall be your master. To the woman he said, Because you listened to your wife, and ate from the tree of which I had forbidden you to eat, cursed be the ground because of you. In toil shall you eat its heel all the days of your life. Thorns and thistles shall it bring forth to you, as you eat the plants of the field. By the sweat of your face shall you get bread to eat, until you return to the ground from which you were eat taken. For you are dirt, and to dirt shall return. The man called for his wife Eve, because she became mother of all living. For the man and his wife, the Lord God, made leather garments with which he clothed them. Then the Lord God said, 
See, the man has become like one of us, knowing what is good and what is evil. Therefore, he must not be allowed to put out his hand to take fruit from the tree of life also, and thus of it, and live forever. The Lord God therefore banished him from the garden of Eden, to till the ground from which he had been taken. When he expelled the man, he settled him east of the garden of Eden, and he stationed the cherubim and fiery revolving sword to guard the way to the tree of life. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. In every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. Before the mountains were begotten, and the earth and the world were brought forth, from everlasting to everlasting you are God. You turn man back to dust, saying, Return, O children of men, for a thousand years in your sight are as yesterday now that it is past, or as a watch of the light. You make an end of them in their sleep. The next morning they are like the changing grass, which at dawn springs up anew but by evening wilts and fades. In every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. Teach us to number our days aright, that we may gain wisdom of heart. Return, O Lord, how long. Have pity on your servants. In every, In every age, age, O Lord, Lord you have been our refuge. We all stand for the Holy
Thank you.